Welcome to my last spring journal prompt tutorial. Today we're going to explore the art of using paint pens as watercolor paints. So follow along as I demonstrate simple, simple, simple techniques to create a pretty spring page in your art journal. Are you ready? We're going to dive in, awaken some imagination, do something new. Don't forget, like and subscribe to follow along and find new prompts for the month of April. For our bluebells today, we're going to use Posca paint pens and the ones from Michaels. The first one I'm going to use is the light blue Posca paint pen. And I have a plain plastic tray that I think was a takeout container lid. And I'm just going to um, push down, load up some paint on this tray, get enough in there. And I'm going to add some light gray from my Michaels paint pens, just a little bit. I have my round number four brush. I'm adding a little bit of water to it and mixing the two colors together to get a soft, deeper blue, one that's not quite so vibrant. I'm going to rinse out my brush and I'm going to pick up the slate blue pen from my Michaels set. This is intensely dark. I love it a lot. And with that, I'm going to add some of the coral pink Posca marker. Again, I'm just loading it up onto this plastic tray. The next one I'm picking up is the Posca paint pen in lavender. I'm going to do it right next to the coral because I want these two to mix together. I'm adding tiny bits of this blue because it's so dark. And I'm going to get a really soft, pretty lavender color here. So just to brighten it a little bit, I'm going to add a little bit of the raspberry from my Michaels paints. Now, I left the lid off. It kind of ruined half of my paint nib, but I can still get some paint out to use it this way. I'm just going to kind of roll it and work it till I get some more. I'm going to add this to half of it, and it's going to lighten this up considerably. And these are the colors that I'm going to work with. I might darken this one just a little tiny bit. I don't want to make it too blue, but I would like it just a little bit darker. Here's the journal page we'll be using. Again, I'll link the video how to get your journal page started in an old book. I'm taking a mechanical pencil and just drawing an arch and an upside down U. It's a fairly long U. It doesn't have to be precise or anything like that because we're going to go over it again with the paint. Now I am working fairly quickly because these will dry, but here we go. Put a little bit of water on. I'm adding the blue just to the left side of each little bluebell. Next, I'm going to wash out my brush, tap off the excess water, and use this light purple. I am tapping off the excess water uh, because the paint slides around pretty well on the prepared journal page. Add a little bit more paint without adding water. Add it to the other side. I'm going to bring it down, give it the little curve that you see on bluebells and bring it down just a little bit to give it little petals. Add a little bit more. I'm going to take it to my last upside down U. Bring that shape around. Again, super fast, super simple. A little curl. And there's the beginning of it. And I'm going to wash out my brush, tap off that water. Let's go for the darker purple in here. I'm going to add it at the bottom. Just little bits of it. And this is going to define the petals on the flower. 
I have not seen a bluebell in real life, but I sure would like to. I think they're gorgeous. Have you seen them? So I'm going to darken it a tiny bit with the blue. And again, I'm just working at the bottom, giving a little more definition to these cute little petals. I'm going to darken it up one more time in here. And bring it up, maybe add a little bit more around. Let's wash that brush out again. I managed <laughs> to connect those two, so I'm gonna wash that brush out, take off that excess paint. And with my brush that's not too, too wet, I'm gonna drag the blue, the darker purpley blue paint up Just give it some more definition. Here I'm just kind of playing. Um, sometimes it's fun to do a Google search on images and look up bluebells and you can kind of get an idea of where the light hits. And now I'm going to put all this paint together, wet my brush really well, smack the brush over the page, and just do some splatter. Okay, so for the stems, I am using the dark green Michaels paint pen. My brush is fairly wet. I'm just gonna follow this curve and add the little stems in. Go over it again, kind of darken it. And like I said, if you do a Google image search of these flowers, you can kind of get an idea of what they look like. And that helps with the colors and the fun and um, noticing where these leaves go. So each little bluebell has a little tiny leaf right above it. And so what I do is I press down and I pull up just to make that leaf shape. And then I can go back in with the tip and darken it a little bit and outline it. So down here, I'm going to add some more leaves, leaves. <laughs> and just do a real free flowing look to it. I'm going to add the spearmint green and just little bits and then carry that color with a wet brush through the rest of this leaf. So that's just like one long little bit of green and then I pull it through with the wet brush. I'll add just another mark here and pull it through the leaves up top. So I'm using my Micron number three. I have dried my page with the heat dryer and the Micron number three, I'm just in a little sketchy way gonna go around everything on my page. I'm going to add some lines for definition It's not, um, how am I gonna put it? It's not a straight line. It's very sketchy, kind of free flow. I do it quickly. And I think it really adds to the definition of these cute little flowers. Next, I'll add the lines to the leaves and the stems. Let's call these stems, shall we? Or maybe a leaf, a long leaf, a long stem. <laughs> See, I just think they're pretty. And I'm gonna do it all the way around, all each little leaf, each little stem. 
Next, I'm going to add the quote that I have for you. If you have liked and subscribed, you can scroll down and print out your own prompts and quotes that I have made up for you. This one this month and this very last week for the Bluebell is from an author named Angie Wheeland Crosby. And it says, her heart beats in nature's Bluebell wild, the soul that loved her as a child. I'm not working on any fancy printing or writing. I'm just going to write it in there. And I hope you would be able to do this for yourself as well. If you don't like your writing or you just can't quite make yourself put your own writing in there, cut out the words that I have for you on the printable and glue them down and it's going to look just as sweet. Here's a last look and I'll see you next month with new prompts.